Lesson three, resources. In this lesson, we will learn about tools for accessing redistricting data and also discuss some of the resources needed or available to you. One of the best places to find resources and information on all five phases of the redistricting data program is their website. There, you can access the redistricting data files, technical documentation for how to access these data, and more. Alexandra will introduce you to several helpful resources on this webpage in part two. As mentioned earlier, the census realized that providing you with the prototype of the upcoming 2020 redistricting products would be helpful to give you a chance to set up your databases in advance and practice with the data. You can practice with legacy files, which use 2018 end-to-end -end census test prototype data for Providence County, Rhode Island. By mid-August, we are scheduled to provide the 2020 PL94171 data files in the legacy format on our Public File Transfer Protocol, or FTP for short. We will soon be covering what the legacy format is in part two. After this course, if you still have questions about the redistricting data program, contact their office. We also have the 2020 Census Demographic Data Map Viewer. This interactive data visualization allows you to see demographic and housing data down to the track level for all the redistricting data topics. This map enables you to zoom in and out of geographies and see population counts and percentages by clicking on a geography. By September 30th, we will provide the states and the public with the same data in data.census.gov, our centralized place to view data. Different from the File Transfer Protocol, or FTP, data available in data.census.gov will demonstrate data in a table and map format for viewing and downloading, where the FTP demonstrates data in a file format. More data topics will be periodically released on data.census.gov. Because there are four large files for each state, downloading and storing the redistricting data files from the FTP site will require computers with sufficient storage capacity. You will need a software package that has the capability to extract the data from the FTP site, combining the spatial and tabular data. There are several options but R, SAS, and Microsoft Access are just a few. If you would like to visualize your data on a map, you will need to download Tiger Line shapefiles from census.gov, and you can join the shapefiles with the data in a program, such as ArcGIS or Tableau. Finding data in our other formats through data.census.gov data visualizations, and the 2020 Census Demographic Data Map Viewer will simply require standard internet access through your computer or cell phone. In this brief lesson, you discovered some resources to get more information on and access redistricting data, and learned about the hardware and software you may need. You have made it through the first section of this course, and you have all the background information you need on the 2020 Census, the redistricting data program, and the resources you need to work with redistricting data. Now we are going to move on to demonstrating how to locate, download, and work with redistricting data. Alexandra Barker will guide you through this process. 